Hello, beloveds. It's me, Grace. How are you doing today? Today, we're going to be talking about something that's really important, was a harsh lesson for me to learn by the universe a few times over. And I want to pass on some of this wisdom to you because it feels relevant to share. So if you don't know me already, my name is Grace Moralia. I specialize with trauma healing facilitation, specifically inner child healing, removing old patterns, limiting beliefs, any blockages internally or externally that keep you out of alignment with your highest self, your purpose, your highest truth, so that you can live those things and also learn to develop deep self-love through the healing processes that I teach my clients and receiving that transformation. So, um... If you like my energy, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel as I'm growing. Thank you to all the people who have been supporting me lately. I really appreciate all of your comments. I love you. I see you. You are beautiful and I'm doing this for you guys. So I hope that you like this. Comment below if you like this video or if you have topics you want me to talk about. I'm happy to do that for you. And um, yeah, we'll just get right into it then. Um... <laughs> Okay, sorry, I can't think. So I'm gonna talk about why love outside of you can never fulfill you. Why does love never fulfill your deepest needs from outside of you? Okay, you were born a sovereign being. You were born alone. You will die alone. The issue with the system and the society that we grow up in now is that people think that having a relationship is everything and that we should live for to be like marriage is everything we need to give our all to them and they give our all to us and this is our life and we're giving back forth back forth back forth and yes while this is true we really need an updated relationship model in this day and age i'll tell you why most relationships are based in codependency let that one simmer. Why? Because people are relying on other people to meet their needs when they are incapable of meeting your truest needs. Only you know, for example, when your throat hurts. Who's gonna, who's gonna tell you your throat hurts and you can take care of your throat? You are. Who knows what your intuition says when it comes up? You do. Does the lover? No. Who knows and can uncover your deepest gifts? You. Who can fulfill your deep needs of self-care, taking a shower, nurturing yourself, taking care of your body, going to the gym? No lover can do these basic needs, the most important needs. They cannot fulfill the space within you that people seek to have fulfilled from the outside. People are looking for love in all the wrong places. We first need to establish a relationship to ourselves and our true needs in order to even vibrationally match with a lover that can meet us there. You're not supposed to give everything away to a lover. You are supposed to give everything, the world, to you. You are supposed to learn how to fill your own cup, to connect to your soul, to listen to your intuition, to follow your dreams. That is what you owe yourself and your soul and your path because that is why you came here. You didn't come here to be totally absorbed in a relationship, giving your all of your own energy away draining yourself, people pleasing. And you didn't come here for that. Relationships are sprinkles on top of the ice cream cone that is you. You are the ice cream cone. You are the ice cream. All right. You, that's it. You're the whole thing. But they're the sprinkles. They add to your life. And if you lose yourself or you tend to lose yourself in relationships or put too much emphasis on romantic relationships, how is your inner connection? How is your self-love? All right. If you don't have self-love, you don't have anything. If you don't take care of your body, you don't have anything. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. All right. The true fulfillment can only come from within you listening to you, you taking care of you, because that establishes happiness, safety, inner peace, the basic things that make people happy. We go out there and say, oh, this makes me happy. Like I need to get all this material stuff. I need to do all this stuff. 
I've been there. And sometimes you have to learn the lesson that material things do not make you happy. I would choose being broke over losing myself. I would rather be deeply connected to myself and broke than have lots of money and disconnected to myself because when you're disconnected from yourself, your truth, your intuition, your soul, you feel lost amongst this world. You feel depressed. Money can't fix the depression. Lovers can't fix the depression. That's why, because if they could, people wouldn't have the mental health anymore. People wouldn't kill themselves. You know, people come to me in my private practice that have had, you know, partners, spouses die, kill themselves, not listen or like because they couldn't get through to the person. If love was the medicine from the external, these people wouldn't have killed themselves. They are not connected to them. And that's the hard part to accept. You are responsible for your inner connection. If someone boosts your life. If you are losing yourself in your relationships, you place too much emphasis on it, I need you and invite you. I don't need you. I invite you back home to your own inner connection, to your self-love, to your inner guidance system. What do you really need and want in your life? And you might think it's external love, but it's really your love. It's your inner child needing your love. The power of the work that I share with my clients, teaching them how to heal inner blocks, emotional blocks, traumas, learn to love themselves, is that we are removing the anything that keeps them from the deep connection from an emotional standpoint. When we clear our traumas from the core root of them, then we are left with love, true self-love, because traumas block love. Traumas block self-love. When you remove the traumas, true love emerges. I see it time and time again for my clients. I've worked with a thousand one-on-one clients at this point. And I've done it on myself. And I know what I'm talking about. If you know that you need to heal deep traumas and you're ready to do the deeper work and resonate with my energy, I have a $10 healing masterclass bundle right now. You get a pre-recorded trauma healing call with a powerful guided exercise to heal deep wounds and connect to your soul plus an abundance meditation I created just for you to align with your higher self and powerful inner healing journal prompts to help you receive clarity and growth on your path doing shadow work, all right? The link is below. I'm also selling a longer term course for the people who actually want deep, deep transformation. This is the most powerful course I've ever created working with so many people. I teach you how to heal major core wounds, give you all the tools in my tool belt that you can use for every day for the rest of your life it's so, it's so beautiful, so powerful. I really believe in this. I do it all the time. And it's what got me here. And I teach you how to love yourself and connect to your soul and heal unworthiness and heal your inner child. All right? So that's also on my website link below. You can check it out. It's called Illumination Trauma Healing Accelerator. All right? So love boosts your life. Start with the connection with you. If all of your relationships are failing or you've had patterns in the past within your relationships that you're like, I don't want these types of dynamics anymore, I really need you and recommend as a person who knows what you're going through, come back to yourself, identify what blocks are preventing you from loving yourself or what blocks you're dealing with. What emotions are you dealing with? That keep you stuck, that keep you in these lingering patterns, that keep you feeling unworthy, whatever you feel. What emotions are beneath those? Explore and study yourself. Work on developing a deeper connection to your soul. And um, and understand that that's what will give you fulfillment. That's the only thing you have. You've got to prioritize it if you want to find fulfillment. That's all you have. That's all you have. All right. Everything else is fleeting. And they don't teach you that in this world. And no, self-love is not selfish. It is necessary and crucial. It is non-negotiable for me. I don't care how in love with I am with someone. I will leave them before I leave me. Period. Mic drop. All right? If you resonate with my energy and you want me to help you, check the links below. I'm here to help you. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you also resonate with my energy and comment below how you feel about this video. If you have any topics you want me to talk about, I'm here to do that for you. I love you. And yeah, 
check out my masterclass bundle and my course and be open to transformation. We can get on a free call if you're interested in the longer course to receive actual deep, tangible lifetime results, <laughs> lifelong results. That course is for you. And I offer free consultation calls to see if it's right for you. All right, I'm sending you my love. All right, I'll talk to you later.